हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम डॉक्टर विश्वनाथ गनवाट आई विल टीच यू एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री फॉर सेमिस्टर थर्ड इन विच पेपर सेकंड एडवांस एनालिटिकल टेक्निक्स इन विच सेकंड यूनिट एडवांस इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन टेक्निक्स ओके दिस इज द कंटेंट ऑफ आवर यूनिट इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल सी स्कैनिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन माइक्रोस्कोप ए then we will see transmission electron microscope two electron microscopes then we will see energy dispersion spectroscopy edax stm afm and practical applications and examples in analytical chemistry and research okay first we will start scm in this we will see instrument introduction principle instrumentation working and its application and at last we will see detailed applications for research purpose see this is the most important topic for your research purpose or project purpose all of you are going to synthesize nanomaterials and you will characterize your nanomaterials by using scm for introduction see the figure by using our unaided human eye we can see up to 10 mm and for deep or from that small particles or animals we have to use compound light microscope we i have used this compound microscope both microscopes in this microscope we use light from the bottom and i view it is from the top we use light therefore it is called as optical microscopes too if we want to see smaller particles than this from 1 micrometers then we have to use scanning electron microscope by using this scm we can see up to 10 nanometer particles or 10 nanometer per meter substance and from that deep we use transmission electron microscope which is our next point okay first we will see some history the first electron microscope it was invented by german scientist ernst ruska and for his contribution he awarded a nobel prize in 1986 see this is the replicate photograph of first electron microscope which was assembled by ernst ruska and this is the photograph of right now well assembled scm microscope well connected this image it is from shivaji university university kolhapur uh, physics department see electron microscope how it's working electron microscope are scientifically instrument that use a beam of highly energetic electrons this is the main point for electron microscope we use highly energetic electron beam for optical microscope we use optical light means light simple light and for electron microscope we use highly energetic electrons scm is a technique for achieving high resolution images of surface it involves scanning a fine beam electron over a specimen and detecting the signals which are emitted okay we will see this part in working instrumentation part the resolution of scm it is up to 10 nanometer uh, sorry 2 nanometer by using conventional optical microscope we can see up to only 1 microscope and by using 10 we can see up to 0.1 nanometer the imaging of scm must be carried out in vacuum as we use the highly energetic electron beam okay these electron beams are the electrons actually electrons if there is any air or any gas particle then that gas particle they will be ionized therefore whole this system it is placed in high vacuum and these are the units 1 uh, nanometer means 10 to the minus 9 meter and 1 micrometer means 10 to the minus 6 meters now we will see the characteristic information we will get from the scm the most important characteristic information it is a topography 
what is mean by topography topography means how our material looks means its surface feature and from the surface feature we can examine the hardness reflection etc different properties the another information we will get it is a morphology from this morphology we can analyze the structure of material morphology means actual shape of our particle what is the shape means it is a particle spherical cylindrical oval okay and size of that nanoparticle or any particle another information we will get from a cm it is a composition or elemental composition which elements are present and in some cases we can get percentage of that elements too and from that we can examine the melting point reactivity hardness etc compositional related properties also we can get information of crystallographic information means how that atoms are arrangement in that object or material okay the most important part we will see it is the principle of this scm now the basic principle is that the beam of electron it is generated by suitable source typically a tungsten filament or field emission gun it is used see acm it is a straight or uh, um, how we can say vertical instrument from the top of this instrument there is a generation of electron beam okay this electron beam it is generated by cathode ray tube generally cathode ray tube it is used no? electron means cathode rays okay these cathode rays these are generated from the top of this instrument and for that generation of electron beam generally tungsten filament it is used the electron beam is accelerated through high voltage and pass through a system aperture and electromagnetic lenses to produce a thin beam of electrons now this generated electron beam it is passed through various various apertures electromagnetic lenses and due to that that due to the electromagnetic lenses the speed of electron beam it is increased highly energetic electron beam it is formed similarly the size of electron beam it is thinner due to that we can get actual or examine very good sample thin beam it is most important if we use large or big size of beam we cannot get the perfect or actual image or photograph our sample for that purpose we use thin beam and it can be achieved by using different apertures and electromagnetic lens and at the last then the beam scans the surface of our specimen or material then due to interaction of this electron beam with our specimen or material there is a electrons are emitted from the specimen by the action of scanning beam and which are collected by using suitable detectors and this detector analyze this uh, collected data and from that collected data we get the image this is the very simple principle of scm okay from the top electron beam is generated then it is accelerated and thinner by using different apertures and electromagnetic lenses then that electron beam it bombards or strikes on our specimen due to that striking there is a generation of another kind of different x rays back scattered electron or new electron auger electron and that electrons or that Uh, emitted rays these are scanned by using different detectors and by collecting this detector data we get very good image now we will see instrumentation of this scm so this is the vertical instrument i told you see carefully the basic components of this instrument first component it is a electron gun okay it is shown in red colored in that figure generally it is a tungsten filament gun then another it is a condenser lenses different condenser lenses which accelerate electron as well as thinner the uh, size of our electron beam 
then objective lenses then scanning coils then chamber see the chamber complete chamber then different detectors like backscattered electron detector x-ray detector secondary electron detector then computer hardware and software system and at last the vacuum system the vacuum system it is most important because by using vacuum system only vacuum system we can get the good image okay see i will tell you one by one part once again this is electron gun then this is condenser lenses then there is objective aperture then these are the scanning coils then here it is chamber it is complete chamber the chamber it contains monitorized stage which rotate our sample for different views or different angles then sample specimen and other detectors then detector detector these are the three detector backscatter electron detector x-ray detector and secondary electron detector and rest it is a whole it is a computer system <coughs> okay rest part we will see in our next lecture thank you very much